This behind my desk says, in Sir Hant, that's me, we trust. It reminds me every single day that I'm really in the customer service business. And like any salesperson is, if your clients don't trust you, if they don't have trust in you and you don't have trust in yourself and confidence in what you're selling, then really, what are you doing? Behind me is my nostalgia wall because I was told when I first got into this business that anyone can advertise what they do, but it's really PR if you get written about or if you put out information about yourself that is more powerful to consumers and to clients. So literally everything I did when I first got into the business was a news article. Like I think this is when I got onto LinkedIn, article, obviously. I've got a girl who's naked pretending to have a gun that just needed to be there, different buildings I've sold. And no matter how successful I am, there's always this, which is my first big listing, which was $14 million. I thought I was gonna change my whole life. It was a whole different price point, And it was probably my biggest listing failure to date. Spent so much money, so much effort. I thought I was gonna sell it in a heartbeat. And I worked for a year on it and couldn't even get a single offer. So I framed that article and put it right next to my computer to remind me that no matter how successful I get, no matter how many people trust me, there's always failure and it's okay. And if it's not, you know, that's why I have my Nerf gun. This is my kind of fun corner. I like to have a few things in here that aren't just real estate based because at the end of the day, we're all just sort of big kids that somehow have to wear suits and ties all day long. These are two like single Nerf guns. And so I'll use these not on other people, at least I don't think I do. If I do, I apologize to them. But, you know, this is mostly to just shoot things. Oh, we're out. You get one. Oh, you see how great that is? I am locked and loaded. My wife doesn't like that I have these here because she thinks it makes me look childish. And then this is a suit jacket that we actually just wore in Paris when we were filming the season finale for this season of Million Dollar List in New York. And we went to a birthday party and I got covered in cake like completely drenched from head to toe in cake. And I brought it to my dry cleaners and they were like, no, can't fix it. And so instead of throwing it away, I had it framed just as a nice little reminder of the show and how much the show has done for my career. And the fact that, listen, sometimes you just get covered in cake. NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.